Welcome to Geek's Corner. I'm Mr. Depps. I'm Katie. Australia is wider than the moon. What? What? Wider? Ooh. Yeah, than wider. The moon? Yeah. White. But the moon. Really? Yeah. It's but. Mm -hmm. huh. But the moon is real big. Australia is wider. Happy birthday, Tyler. Happy birthday, Tyler. Tyler, that fact if was you for you. If you were here right now, we would give you more than facts. But since you're not, happy birthday. Mm -hmm. wow. Who are you? <laughs> not Tyler. I'm Cameron. Now. You should use the hashtag Geeks Corner to talk to us this evening on the Twitter. <laughs> hashtag Geeks Corner. We'll talk back at you, maybe. I just imagined a reality where we'll someone try. doesn't really know who we are. And you were like, happy birthday, Tyler. If you were here, but, but, like, but Tyler just, he, um, he was saying <laughs> things. Why, why are you pretending he's not right there? That works for me. Um... <laughs> Quick, as we get started, I feel like since it is Tyler's birthday wow. and he's turning the big two eight, um, what is, is your that... favorite Tyler memory? <laughs> I don't have one that you can say on this. <laughs> yep, because the one I thought of is the, the same one I thought of. <laughs> yep. Congratulations, Tyler. We're keeping our mouth shut. Um, You're welcome. I'll tell you my second favorite from that same day. Okay. Um, uh, just before Tyler got married, we took him on an adventure um, in, during which uh, very early in the morning we had him train for about 15 minutes with a grappling hook. And those um, were... <laughs> uh, he, because we told him he would definitely need to know how to use it. Um, immediately, gonna... immediately following, we took him skydiving. You know the best part about that were the looks. Yeah, people just walk, what are they doing? Aim, aim for that palm tree. It's 20 <laughs> feet away, you gotta hit it. Gotta, you don't have to catch it, you just gotta hit it. We good. told them you would know. It's <laughs> my favorite line from the whole movie. What's your favorite one? Um, <laughs> uh, actually, Tyler, uh, I was talking to him one time, and he proceeded to call me Donut Girl the entire conversation mm -hmm. because it was right after Donuts Rock had ha Rocks had happened. The segment that we should bring back my Donut Review segment, um, but. I said hello to him, and he proceeded to go, What's up, donut girl? The entire conversation. And I was probably one of the few people around who knew what that meant, and so people just thought that I was being harassed by... Were they wrong? A no. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, no. Caitlin was there. Caitlin remembers. But yeah, so that I think that might be one of my favorites. And I don't even know if Tyler remembers, because we just harass each other constantly. But Tyler and I used to take pictures of Mickey's Sensational Parade together years ago. And um, he had this strange obsession with bubbles. So when, so when the Little Mermaid float would go by, like everybody else is taking pictures of the float and the dancers and the characters and all that stuff. And here's Tyler shooting behind the float at the bubbles. So I called him Bubble Boy. Happy birthday, Bubble Boy. <laughs> Happy birthday, Bubble Boy. <laughs> Since you stole my other one. But all right, uh, this weekend Super Bowl happened. Did you watch the Super Bowl? No. Did you watch the Super Bowl? Why no, would I, I wouldn't done either. That? Um, the ads really aren't any good anymore. No. As, as I was saying to somebody earlier spending. today, I feel like when Saturday Night Live stopped being enjoyable, it was about the same time the commercials did. So then there was really no point in watching, like giving up your Sunday afternoon. Because um, I'll, I'll say this about the Super Bowl. Um, there are many of us in our particular field of geek who take great pleasure in letting people know that we did not watch the Super Bowl. Um, I, I think it's important to acknowledge that us disliking or commenting against the Super Bowl is the same thing that uh, they did for cosplayers or LARPers for a very long time. That's just their field of play, and they have their rule book, player's manual, same as us. Yep. Um, so, glad you enjoyed your thing. We don't care. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and yeah. We'll just leave it. And yeah. We can and go yeah. further, but why go down? There are good things that come out of Super Bowls, though, and yes. usually they come in the form of trailers. And uh, this Super Bowl <laughs> was no exception, so let's work our way through the trailers from Sunday. First one being Avengers Endgame. Uh, who wants to go first? I think what's funny is that the game wasn't over, but yet Endgame had a trailer. That's all oh. I was going to say. Ah, yes. I was going to make a comment about the play of the same name, which was an absurdist. Um, I think it's by Beckett. Um, it involves a, a old husband and wife in trash cans, um, which is the first thing I thought of when they announced the title for Endgame. Uh, this trash trailer, cans. once again, did not reveal old people in trash cans. See you later, trash cans. <laughs> but is there going to be a lawsuit for the stealing of the... I guess because it's connected to Avengers now. It was just Endgame. Well, and also I think the word is free use because yeah. it involves chess. Okay. All right. So, uh, what'd you think of the, the trailer? 
Where'd the Avengers go? I'm so glad Captain America is sober and uh, able to stick in that meeting now. Yeah. Also, I just loved the way that that was shot because he was the only one there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I just yeah. love that he shows up and he sits in the room with all his chairs in a circle and he goes, um... I got the coffee going. Is anybody coming? Or? Um, and he's like texting. I thought you said you were going to show up. They're like, oh, something came up. And I have like, a big surprise. I shaved. Like, it's Maybe just... he was just watching the Super Bowl. By himself? Aww. <laughs> he has a big bowl of chips and he's like, I'll save I'll save that one for Hawkeye. No, 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 shows because up. the way Captain America would do it is he'd have everything set out, but he couldn't be the first person to eat it. So it would all be oh. sitting Yeah, that's true. That's very true. He would just be sitting there. So, I hope they come soon. I'm really excited about them. So what he's really looking at is the brie across the way. <laughs> that's, why, that's why he does that weird, like, Jaw shift. Yeah, that, that's it's what it is. He's Dude, at the he wants some snacks, man. <laughs> okay, so he's about to get snacks. down on some pizza rolls. So, did you learn anything <laughs> from this trailer? Yes. What did you learn? He was better with a beard. <laughs> I missed the How about about the movie? Uh, yes. Um, it was, in it. Yeah, it was really cool to see the character silhouettes in the Avengers base. The combination was yeah, cool. That was yeah, that was really great. Um, also, I really like. The tone this one had, especially compared to the other ones, it's... There's it's, a little bit of hope. It's, it's defiant, I think is the yeah, right word. It's word. just... Um, it's You very clearly see I mean, you see what, what to do now that they're all gone, poster thing. I, I like that we're getting a glimpse at a world after such a cataclysmic event. Um, previous uh, superhero movies have events in them that could easily be explained away as happening in the real world with similar reactions happening, you know, events in Wakanda, you see them briefly on the news, but this is the first, other than maybe the attack on New York, where something... Yeah, um, that little well, thing. But even that, like, that wouldn't be the world affect. Yeah, the sky. like, okay. literally half of everything gone um, has a much more global everybody. effect. Yeah. This is one of the true uh, deviations from our timeline to the superhero timeline, which is a really risky point for any... Um, it's very close to jumping the shark, I guess, to use an expression. Um, the uh, In Happy Days, the Fonz jump, literally jumped over a shark at one point, which is where the expression comes on, from. On skis. Uh, on skis. skis. Yeah, on water skis. Um, but to jump the shark means that you leave like what is good and natural for a storyline to go, wait, this is the moment they're doing it. It looks like they're handling it pretty well. Um, I was noticing, and this was the second time I watched it, is it appears to me that what we see is not all that we are going to see. And it looked like there were some There's empty more spots. No, I, I just mean the scenes we saw, I'm not confident are actually what we will see for those yeah. exact scenes in the movie. Oh, yeah. Especially after the the trailers that we saw leading up to Infinity War. With, with the eye for Thor. and Yeah, there, yeah, there was a few things, yeah. and I kind of feel like there was maybe some manipulation going on that actually I think is really cool mm -hmm. because it just creates more question marks as you're getting more excited about the film. And... Um, I mean, there's really no answers. We didn't see anything with Captain Marvel, um, mm -hmm. which... Good choice. Very yeah. good choice. Yeah, I think that's a great choice, especially <clears throat> since her movie's not out yet. Mm -hmm. um, but um, I'm, I'm really... like I think it. there were zero answers in this. Yeah, yeah. which is good. And, and that was really good. Although, I mean, and there were inferences to dramatic shifts in tone. Like, for example, uh, Iron Man and Ant-Man suiting up at the same time. Seeing, like, Pym and Stark's tech together, like, that was very interesting and shows that they're going in was some very... Was it Warhammer? Was it Iron Man? No, it was Ant-Man and Iron Man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so them them suiting up together is also implies that it's kind of all cards on the table. Okay. Do you have anything else in this one? I like the prominence of Rocket. Like, I, I, I think the prominence of Rocket would make a great like side novel for this. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. Um, follow up. Yeah, I'm really curious because I feel like he's gonna play a, a much more prominent. Like they keep adding Good. to him each mm -hmm. time, and I Good. feel like this is his moment to shine. He and deserves hopefully the world. It moves on to something mm -hmm. even cooler. Um, next trailer that came out was Captain Marvel. I'm actually doing that out of order. I think of release, um, but Captain Marvel is what we're gonna hit next. So we stay in this Marvel universe. Mm -hmm. Um, what'd you think of that trailer? Talk about someone who deserves the world. Oh, that's so good. I feel so empowered watching this trailer. <laughs> I do too. Who cares? Like, I watch <laughs> it and I go, you know what? I am gonna do all those things. Thank you, Captain Marvel. I feel like I feel like I'm the person at the end of the movie who walks in up and is like, Thank you, Captain Marvel, like shaking her hand, patting her on the shoulder, like 
and my little girl walks up with a balloon and she's like, wow, a real superhero. You know, I feel like that's my role in all this. I love her so much. So much. <laughs> so much. Go ahead, Cameron. They showed more of Mohawk Marvel, and I'm so excited. <laughs> Captain Mohawk? That's uh, really all you care about. It really is. Oh, uh, so for context, if you're a comic book fan, when when Mohawk Marvel comes out, that's that's when stuff really goes down. Is I cannot describe the amount of power that Captain Marvel has in relation to the other Avengers and in the comic scene, X-Men and all. Just the most powerful character other than a couple of villains that it takes multiple people to take down. Um, we're going to so see some stuff on screen. Captain Marvel versus Gandalf. Gray or white? White. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where what this is question the, came Where from. is the objective? What is the objective? Do, straight fight? Sure, why not? Captain Marvel wins. You sure? Yeah, Gandalf is much more manipulative. If it's a war, but he has, advantage Gandalf. But he has his staff. He does have his staff, which allows him the uh, the light of... Uh, I want to say a sealed door, but it's not right. Point is, it's, it's a light about. magic, which means that it is only uh, a bane against the darkness. Captain Marvel is an inherently good person, and therefore the power would have no effect over her. What about the verse? Whoa. What about the verse? Like the reverse, sorry. Uh, Captain Marvel can do whatever the heck she wants because she's grilled. Okay. Yeah. Even in Middle Earth? Yes, even in Middle Earth. Are you because, sure? Yes, because her power comes from uh, solar energies and Middle Earth is... What about Gandalf with the ring? Gandalf will never take the ring. That is a fallacy. Moment of weakness. Gandalf does not have moments of weakness. He proved that by falling with the Balrog as Gandalf the Grey, sacrificing himself to come back for mankind. Gandalf is half angel, according to the universe rules, and therefore is too good to actually be tempted by such things. So then let's take it a step further. Captain Marvel with the ring? I would watch that. I would too, but... <laughs> <laughs> Um, Captain Marvel versus uh, Sauron with the ring. Sauron with the ring versus Captain Marvel. This is the weirdest episode of Geek's Corner ever, but... Full power with full army? <laughs> yeah. Is Captain Marvel allowed to call on a similar army? Uh, no, because she's not. Well, she can call on a Middle Earth army. On a Middle Earth army? Yes. Um... But I don't think that gives her a lot of help. It does if she's allowed to commune with the aspects of men and uh, create a half krill army there uh, because she can infuse her blood into them, assuming they still have yeah, access to sunlight. She doesn't have technology. You don't need technology for that. Oh, okay. Yeah, she can just put in. Because, I mean, it's, it's like. So an, still Captain Marvel? Yeah, I think so. I, I think it'd be closer, but I think Captain Marvel. Okay. Can I tell a slight side story while we're on the subject? Very quickly. It just came up on my timeline. I don't know what Katie's doing, but. <laughs> um, we, uh, my wife's grandmother found a ring oh, yes. in her bathroom. Oh, yes. Um, and she didn't know what language it was written in, and she was trying to get it back to the owner. She assumed it was some form of Arabic and was trying to find out whose ring had been lost in her restroom after a party. Uh, it was the one ring of power, <laughs> and there was a thread of multiple comments of very, very well-meaning friends trying to research what this beautiful language was on the ring, just trying to get it back to the person. <laughs> It was it was fantastic. And then Cameron took it, ran away, and hid. <laughs> but another one was made in secret. Uh -huh. All right. So, uh, rest of the trailer. Anything else that, that favorite moments, things about this? I'm so sorry. I'm still somewhere in Middle Earth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's allowed. Um, Marvel. I'm I'm curious to see how much more of a role he plays in this because yeah, they keep hinting at things. Yeah, because he, well, he's. He, According to the comics, he's supposed to be a training character for her. I'm assuming he dies early, but okay. we'll see. I'm I guess I said Krill earlier, by the way. Kree. I'm so sorry. Kree. I actually I was heard thinking, it as Kree. Krill! Swim away! Yes. <laughs> anyway, keep going. Um, I'm, I'm excited to see her cat. Okay. Goose? I, I want more of Goose. <clears throat> Great. And thank you for listening. Toy Story 4. Yeah! The third. <laughs> Go ahead. Kate. I can participate again! Go! Woo! Um, I don't know. <laughs> After all that? I was just excited that we were back on something I could talk about. I'm sorry. So talk about it. Go yeah, on. Um, we're toys, listening. Toys. 
Um, so we did distinguish that there's people in this trailer. Yep. So there are people in this carnival, which means that there could be carnies, um, <laughs> which could be great. Uh, also, I just want to know why Buzz is zip tied, but no one else is zip tied. That's a that's... good point. I actually had Ooh. that question as we were watching it tonight too. I was kind of like, huh. I was like, do they know that he's sentient? Like, is that why he's zip tied? And everyone else was just really like, you would think that he would have this game down by now. Well, where'd everybody go when they were kicking him in the head? I don't. I don't know. It's still daylight. We assume. But if there's people not around, they can, they can move in daylight. I mean. I know, but I'm saying, like, you would assume that there's people, if someone's still, like, 100 feet away, they might look over and be like, why? We why? need to consult the book of toys. <laughs> I've, I've got a question about that. In universe, even toys that don't know their toys still freeze up when humans are around. Mm -hmm. We, I had always assumed that... There needs to be a book of toys. Yeah, because, like, what are the rules that dictate that toys, like, do they, they have to freeze? Are they incapable? Because they are capable of movement, yeah, as proven by Toy Story 1, yeah. when they, they get one against Sid. So yeah. it means it's by choice. Why do toys inherently have the knowledge to freeze in the presence of humans? Maybe um, it's like an evolutionary thing. Like a defense mechanic? Maybe yeah. it's a reflex. Are you suggesting toys have evolved? Yeah, absolutely. From more primitive toys? Yeah. <laughs> from the blocks of old, the literal building blocks of life. Yeah. Clearly. Yeah. Obviously. Toys have clearly evolved in the last... Alongside humans. I mean, they, they used to play A symbiotic with... relationship. You play with hoops and sticks. I was gonna say, what are you gonna do with a stick? And then eventually, are the hoops and sticks sentient? Yeah. Absolutely, they are. Their life must be terrible. Ah! <laughs> but, I'm gonna be sick. So are the cars, <laughs> boats, and everything else. Apparently, so trains, planes, and automobiles. Everything's connected. Anyway, from this trailer, we now see that they're gonna go to a fair. We see that Bo Peep is back. We get to see her actually in the film, as opposed to that teaser <laughs> um, that was just her. What did you think of the what 20 seconds that we saw? I'm interested to what her role is actually going to be, because we do see her working alongside Woody. Which but kind of surprised me. I expected there to be conflict. Honestly, when I saw her just talking to him, I was like, wait, 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 wait. What am I missing? So Unless she's the hero. I want her to be the secret villain. Okay. Oh, that'd be good. That'd be a good twist. That'd be heartbreaking and amazing. That'd be awesome. Yeah, that'd be fantastic. I, I like that. Yeah. I, I can't wait to see Key and Pill presents Toy Story 4. It's going to be a <laughs> great movie. True. Like, I, more and more I'm realizing, because I, I thought that at first that that first, like, recap thing that they did, I was like, oh, that's a cute way of advertising for the movie, using a Key and Peele-ish skit with the voice actors. And then I'm like, oh, no, this is just, they, they got Key and Peele and they're running with it. Yeah. Like, they're just, they're going for it. And I do think that they're just funny, talented people, so just putting them in Toy Story 4 is just, they yeah. can just thrive in whatever well, environment you put them in. the thing to recognize is we've seen this much. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. in, in all odds, like, what we saw was out of context anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, like, Pixar traditionally does not reveal a lot about the movie coming into it. They've done more recently, but traditionally, you would get these random clips that made no sense or whatever, misdirection. So, who knows what this movie's going to really have happened um of the three movies which one are you most excited about mm. i'm gonna have the most fun um during toy story probably because it's like light-hearted fun um i'm gonna have be you seen toy story 3 yeah no 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 no. like listen though <laughs> like listen i'm gonna be having fun for like 75 percent of the movie and the last 25 percent i'm gonna wish i never saw it and i'm okay. gonna cry puddles just real puddles so most fun for that one um probably um and then um, and game, I'm just gonna be real, real sad, but I'm gonna enjoy how sad I am, you know? Like, when you put on sad music to cry, because you know, like, you're, we want to be more sad. Yeah, that's how I'm gonna feel about that movie. And then Captain Marvel, I'm just excited about them all. <laughs> My answer is, them all. I love, I love when I ask a question, and then the answer isn't my, my question. Jeopardy rules. Didn't I say which one? Pick one. I'm excited about them all for different reasons. But which one are you most excited about? Oh, Cameron, you answer. Cameron. Uh, it's going to be Gandalf versus Captain Marvel. It's going to be a great film. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I, I'll i say this. <laughs> Ten years from now, I feel like I will want to watch Captain Marvel again. I agree. So that's my choice. I actually think of the three, that's the one we're going to be talking about as rewatchable and analyzable and all of those things. Whereas Toy Story 4 will be good. But how many times have you gone back and watched Toy Story 3? Mm -hmm. And more to that and it's point... It's a beautiful movie and it's it's a great movie. To compare the rest of them, Captain Marvel has the least amount to lose as well. Yeah. Um, because it's the other two 
Endgame being the closing chapter of all of that, Toy Story 4 coming at the end of that legacy of films, uh, they, they could fail a lot more easily than Captain Marvel could. I, I, don't... I don't actually even care if they succeed or fail as much, just because Captain Marvel seems like something that's going to be more fun, mm. have more of those like really exciting moments with characters that you want to get excited mm. for, whereas I feel like Endgame is going to be all about the stakes being so high that like you're going to spend the whole movie just kind of wondering how the heck are they going to get out of this, as opposed to really enjoying the ride, which yeah. I think Captain Marvel... I mean, everybody's going to have a moment that I think they walk out loving, whether it's with Samuel Jackson, Brie Larson, Clark. Um, I totally lost it. By the way, who said, uh, Greg, Ca- yeah. I think it was you, Captain America was waiting to eat the Brie, who said that? Yeah. Yeah, I thought that was funny. <laughs> 20 minutes later. Okay, I just cool. thought I would note that. Um, let's pivot on to another movie. Uh, Anthony Daniels this week on Twitter announced that he had finished filming on episode nine of star wars potentially finishing his career as c-3po mm-hmm. um one do you think that's the end of c-3po for the character's sake i hope so okay mm-hmm. um I-, I could see him acting in other movies that are star wars to continue the trend but not as c-3po yeah, like, i would agree with that yeah he was he was a wookie in um solo mm-hmm. and so i could see that happening but um, do you think it's the end of the character? I think physically. I think voice, he might still do some stuff, maybe. Mm, for the cartoons or something. But I think that physically, 3PO's done. Yeah, I would agree. Second, uh, he teased that something was on the horizon and coming through space or something else on Twitter. Um, a lot of speculation has gone that this could be the title for Star Wars Episode Nine. Do you have any thoughts of what it should be or could be? I hope it's nothing that I would think of in this conversation. Yeah. Okay. That was that was a great conversation. So let us know what you think with hashtag Geeks Corner. Well, d- following the trend, it's probably going to be something that was in the previous running titles. Um, or um, or something was in one of the original concepts, because I yeah. feel like they've been pulling a lot from that. Mm. And, uh, I don't know. Okay. Let's move right along then. Uh, Chalk Walk is coming again this summer. Uh, what do you love most about Chalk Walk, and why should people join our team as soon as we open it up for joining? Because we're the best team. And we could beat Gandalf in a straight fight. We could. <laughs> <laughs> well, depending on who has the ring and who's in Middle Earth. Yeah. Can obviously. we call on the Middle Earth army? Yes. The Middle Earthians. <laughs> if they join our team, it's very easy to join a Chalk Walk team. <laughs> Go to chalkwalk.org slash dapsmagic as soon as they open uh, at the registration end the at the end of the month, and you can join our team. We'd like to have a bigger team than ever. Make more money than ever. We made around five grand last year, yeah. and um, and that all goes to the children of Orange County. And uh, stand with us at the gates of Mordor. At this the end of the third age. <laughs> at six in the morning at Disneyland. Ugh, that is where morning. the gates of Mordor it's are. Apparently, on, it's four, <laughs> on August eleventh. It, it's four in the morning. Okay, it's it'll four four there will morning. come a day when the courage of men fails. <laughs> no, but it will us. not be that day. <laughs> I really want to do that speech at the beginning of the chalk you know, this year. That really should have been your um, your short video, or your uh, short film, your video, or short film a for, sad day. for the Dapsy. Um, so we are going to have the Dapsies two weeks from tonight. Wow, live. that's a fortnight away. It's a fortnight away, and you can still nominate people, things, movies, whatever you feel like for people, the Dapsies using hashtag. No, Geeks Corner and hashtag, no, is it hashtag the Dapsies? Is that what we did last year? Sure. Yeah, hashtag the Dapsies. And let us know what you'd like to nominate, and uh, we will see if it happens. Not Nominé, who is a character in Kingdom Hearts 3. That's been my entire life for the last week. Go on. Very good. Very Finally, good. it was a very wet weekend at the Disneyland Resort, and it was so wet... How oh, wet was it? <laughs> so I started going down that road. I'm like, this is bad. Um, but it was so wet that on Saturday night, they actually closed Disneyland two hours early, which I have not seen happen in years. It happened last year. Did it happen last year? That was when we got food. <laughs> so he hasn't seen it happen in a year. Oh, you're right. That, but I thought that was DCA. That was DCA and Disneyland. Oh, they both closed early. Because we had to leave the park at 8. And we got free food. Because we right. left California Adventure at so 6 So the moral of the closed. story is if it rains really hard to close everything... Go your free I'm so I'm so glad we you here to hear first brought on that Geeks up now after talking about this for a week. Um, anyway, <laughs> park closed early. We're not going to talk about that because clearly it's not as interesting as I thought it was. And <laughs> it was very interesting. Um, 
but it's really funny to watch people in the rain at Disneyland. The, there's just, two kinds of people. There's two kinds. Yeah. Go ahead, Cameron. Well, there's the, the people whose lives have been completely ruined by the onset of nature. And the people who are having the best time of their lives so regardless. So the skirmishers that just like skirmish out of there the moment the rain comes, which is very I can't interesting. I'm going to stand in line at City Hall in the rain. Well, my favorite, yeah, that one. And then they they have to go stand in line for the bus and the tram. And by the time they get to their car, it stopped raining because it's yes. California. Yep. And, and that just always happens. But and you then, know what? If it rains, run. Just go for your car. Go on home. <laughs> That's the safe Do it. bet. Yeah. Um, it will protect you from getting... Disneyland is no fun in the rain. It is not fun <laughs> at home. all. Just just go home. Just, just pack it up. There's the other group of people. There's that kid that's just like, Puddles! <laughs> My favorite is the kid that's going from puddle to puddle, jumping in each puddle, mm -hmm. while his parent or her parent follows them, telling them not to jump in the puddles, and every time they do it, they're getting splashed yeah. from the kid jumping in the puddle. And and there's never that consideration that maybe you should just stay further away, and <laughs> you'd be okay. And then there's the real good parents who are also jumping in the puddles. Yes. <laughs> um, one of our friends on uh, the blogger sphere um, runs um, uh, OC Family. Annie, OC Mom Blog, sorry. Um, Shelby got the most phenomenal photo this week. Of it was not this week. Last week? The castle's not scaffolded, and the castle oh, looks so like it was the 60s. I don't care. The photo's great. Um, <laughs> it's her castle yeah. scaffold. That's a hard, that's a hard combination of yes. words. The photo is her kid jumping in a puddle in the rain, and it's ridiculously awesome because clearly the camera must have been destroyed in the process because it's literally got water coming everywhere, and it's you see the kid's feet, and that's ridiculously amazing. Um, if you go, we tweeted earlier today on Dab's Magic. What was you want to say what the tweet was so they can find the response? That was the tweet. I don't remember what the original tweet was. Oh, okay. I'm so sorry. Anyway, go look at the Daps Magic. We're asked something we about the rain, it. and and we retweeted it, and it's it's really fun to watch. And um, let's see what we got here. Um, I bet we do coffee, desk, those. Yeah, you know, Fair. all are good. Um, Bailey says going onto my soapbox. I dislike C three PO. That is all. Ooh. Okay. That's a hot take. Hot take. Um, Steven says one does simply does not simply chalk walk into. The <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's good. Yeah, that That's one's good. good. I like that one. And We're then, taking the hobbits. To I'm chalk gonna walk. I'm gonna quote Daps that Maddie's running right now that says there will come a day when the courage of men fails, but it is not this day. Join us at six a.m. to be just as heroic as Aragorn. Wow. That good. Was, good. Good. She good, does good. really good. If you're not following the Daps Magic Twitter, <laughs> you should. If only for Tuesday nights during Geek's Corner, because sometimes that is more entertaining than this is. Most sometimes. Times. Most times. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Um, favorite thing to do in the rain at Disneyland? Wear shorts, eat ice cream, and watch people stare at me. Oh, I thought you liked to sit on the second floor and talk Irish to a guy that has no clear lips. Oh, that was really fun. That was um, really... We, I, I spent... It was a uh, Trattoria... Yeah. Um, I spend one night, uh, every once in a while, I like putting on an accent if I'm by myself and for my own entertainment. And uh, that was that was really good. He didn't know what to do. He didn't know what to do. It was great. You know how sometimes people meet people from other countries and there's one level of respect, but it's coupled with a level of fear? Yes. Mm -hmm. That was it. And it was ridiculously funny. <laughs> Favorite thing in the ring. Um, I like to go like this and watch my hair bleed on people. <laughs> Everyone turns purple. It's really fun. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Hair color, not literal blood. No, my hair. Mm. I go like if I go like this mm. when it's wet, it just. Mm -hmm. Good. I'm glad your hair doesn't bleed. I like to take pictures in the rain. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nobody's surprised by that. Wow. Finally, I'm shocked. Shock. Earlier today, also if you're on Twitter, uh, Cameron and Luke were up to a very uh, unique activity involving yellow things in a blender. And um, it actually reminded me of the YouTube series, Will It Blend? When you saw oh, that. Will It Blend was so like, good. That was my first thought. Oh. I was like, are they doing a Will It Blend? And was it glow sticks, like yellow glow sticks? <laughs> and then I was like, but how are they going to make that last till tonight? And what are they going to put it in? And, and are they going to make us work? It? But um, it wasn't glow sticks. No, it was uh, pie. We attempted to sous vide a pie. So if you go to uh, the uh, the Geeks Corner, if you go to our Twitter, we'll take up some pictures and put them up on tonight. Uh, we'll see how it turned out. It's probably a little goopy because it wasn't setting and we put too much stuff in it. Goop. Goop. 
Goop. Welcome to Goop's Corner. Goop. <laughs> Goop's Corner. I am Goop. We just switched shows. Mr. Anyway, Goop. that's all the time we have for you tonight. You should go to uh, thegeekscorner.com. That is thegeekscorner.com. We talk about stuff quite often, and guess what? It's all there. You should go to dapsmagic.com, check out all the Disney and geek news as it happens, subscribe to our mailing list, and find our Patreon. And make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. We're putting stuff up almost every day now. Um, thank you those that are uh, supporting us on Patreon to help enable that. But uh, as I mentioned, that's all the time we have for you this week. So we will see you around the corner.